School is only days away from getting started, but athletes are already going to practices. Joining me now, Dr. David Haynes of Baylor Scott & White Southwest Sports Medicine. Um, th it really is a key time of year to get ready for the start of football season. And not just athletes, but band members, they're out in the heat working. No doubt, no doubt. This time of year, a lot of people are going to be out in the heat that they may or may not be used to. And so we want to do everything we can to help people understand what they're getting into and how they can prevent injury and, and what to do, you know, if, uh, if the injury occurs. Well, one would hope that the band leader and, the, and, and all the coaches, you know, are monitoring, watching closely how these, uh, these kids are doing in the heat. Yes, it's definitely been a focus recently. In recent years, a lot of awareness about uh, heat illness, heat injury, uh, protecting uh, kids and fans and preparation for uh, preventing these type of injuries. A lot of that is, uh, has been a focus much more uh, in recent years. Of course, hydration is a very important thing. Um, what are some of the signs someone should look for for heat stress? Well, heat illness is, is a spectrum, so uh, minor dehydration uh, would be, obviously, uh, you'll have profound thirst, you'll want to uh, be uh, looking for, for hydration in that situation, you progress to heat exhaustion, and in worst cases, heat stroke. So if you're getting into trouble, the things to look for, uh, someone is going to have nausea, they're going to be sweating profusely, and if that continues and they don't get out of those conditions, then they can move on to uh, what we call mental status changes, confusion, delirium, nausea and vomiting, and even the loss of sweating. So warm, flush, dry skin can be a sign that you know this is a heat stroke, which is a medical emergency and needs to be addressed immediately. Well, important things to look to as we're getting ready for the start of football season. And uh, of course, here in Texas, we know it can be very hot to sit in the stands and you know watch the game even. That's right. So uh, preparation's key. So preventing dehydration and heat-related illness uh, would include number one, uh, becoming accustomed to the conditions. So uh, being out in these before the first day of practice, that's not as common obviously for fans. They're gonna not typically be out right. and accustomed to it, but the players can be out and get accustomed to it before practice starts. They need to hydrate early and often. So they need to start drinking. Don't wait to be thirsty. You're already dehydrated if that occurs. So they need to be drinking ahead of time, after practice, also pay attention to calories. So uh, eating is important, fueling your body and being ready for an exertional practice. And so they need to think about that. At least three hours before practice would be meal time. And then don't forget after practice, you gotta replenish. Uh, so um, And rest too, sleep. For sure. Yes, yeah, sleep is very important. A lot of research regarding sleep recently, in recent years and the effects on mental and physical performance. So getting appropriate sleep before practice is very important. Uh, the other uh, issue that can be uh, helped with appropriate sleep is fatigue. So a lot of physical injuries can occur in a fatigue state. So preseason conditioning and appropriate rest to avoid that fatigue as much as you can. Uh, that fatigue is part of practice, but you know avoiding as much as possible can help prevent injury. All important things to think about. How can folks get in touch with you to learn more? Well, we are at uh, Baylor Scott & White Hillcrest, so Southwest Sports Medicine is our practice. Uh, we have a website, swsportsmedicine.com. There's a lot of educational uh, things on there about injuries um, and information to contact us, obviously by the website, uh, or you can always just call 254-741-1400. Uh, but uh, yes, any, we're happy to uh, help with any way that we can prevent injuries. Very good, thank you so much, Great. Dr. Haynes, for your time. Yeah.